Hey guys, welcome to Physics with Nasher Alam. We did circular motion previously and I wanted to practice some questions with you. Um, let's do one question which a lot of kids find difficulty in and uh, the questions laid out in front of you and you can solve it with me as we go along. So I've, I'm hoping that you've seen this question before and if you've had some problem, hopefully the problem will be solved now. So in the question says that uh, you have this small mass which is hanging from a cord. So this is a thread and the cord has now a final length of 14.8 centimeters. However, the initial length of the cord was 13 centimeters. So before you hung anything from it, the original length L naught that is 13 centimeters or the final length I L F that is 14.8 centimeters. So that instantly tells you something. string with, um, with the wall, but nothing was hung, hanging from it. Then when you hung something from it, the extension or the final length was 14.8. So let's calculate the extension. The extension that you should get is 14.8 minus 13, which is 1.8 centimeter, which can also be written as 1.8 into 10 is per minus two meters. And also, um, the force or the load that you had used, they have given you over here that you had a five Newton load. So the force was five Newtons. You, you can use the formula F is equals to K times E, and you can find out the value of K as five divided by 1.8 into 10 is to power minus two. So let's save that over here. Now, moving on. It says, show that the angular speed omega of the cord and the mass is 8.7 radians per second. So they've shown you two positions, the top position and the bottom position. Remember, this is the vertical circle. Now, over here, they're showing you that when you reach the top, the final length is 13. The initial length was also 13. So basically, what does that mean? That means that there is no tension in figure 1.2 because the final length is equals to the initial length. So the question is, then why is it spinning? What, what is providing it's a centripetal force? And the answer is that it's the weight, the weight of this thing, the weight of this small mass is providing the centripetal force. So you understand that W is equals to FC and then W is five and FC is m r omega square so 5 is equals to now the mass of the object is 5 divided by 9.81 because 5 newton was the weight not the mass r value is 13 into 10 to minus 2 do not forget to convert the centimeters to meters and you get the value of omega square and from here omega turns out to be 8.7 radians per second now now comes a big part they say that you are spinning it constantly. So it spins here and it spins here. Now over here, the length is L centimeters. It's not 13. It's not 14.8. Don't mess it up. 14.8 tab hota was set of hang hua ho. Nothing else. It's not moving. It's not spinning. If it is spinning, the length will not be 14.8. It'll be greater than 14.8. And they're asking you to calculate the length of this cord. So at its lowest point, the weight is acting downward. The tension in the cord is acting upward. Ab tension, aapka sawale tension kahan se aagi? Tension is li hai because now the final length is L. The initial length is the same, 13. So, of course, there's extension. Extension is L minus 0.13. I've converted the centimeters to meters. So remember that L is in meters as well. And this is in meters as well. It's always good to do your question in meters and then change it accordingly, whatever the question says. So the extension is L minus 0 0.13. Remember, whenever there's extension in an object, there will be tension. And um, they're also saying that it obeys Hooke's law, which means that F is equals to KE. May 
k की वैल्यू वही है जो आपने k की वैल्यू पहले निकाली हुई थी बिकॉज इट इज ओबेइंग हुक्स लॉ तो वट एवर के वैल्यू फाउंड इज द सेम वैल्यू ओवर हीयर एंड यू ऑल्सो हैव द एक्सटेंशन सो आई थिंक योर प्रॉब्लम इज सॉल्व नाउ यू मस्ट नो दैट बिकॉज इट्स मेकिंग अ सर्कल then there must be a centripetal force in this direction and you know that centripetal force is a resultant force kho to kuch bhi nahi hota so what do you say you end up saying that fc is equals to t minus w why t minus w because you know t is larger w is smaller go to my lectures if you don't understand this fc fc is m r omega square which is equals to t minus w Let's plug in the values. Mass, five divided by nine point eight one. R, R is the radius of the circle, which is length, L. जो निकालना है. Omega, we just found, is eight point seven, and whole square is equals to. Capital T. Now capital T, is the same thing as F, because tension हो या force हो, Hooke's law हो, this F is T. So, instead of T, you can say K E, and let's plug in the value. The value of K is five divided by one point eight into ten to the power minus two. Put it in brackets, and the extension is L minus zero point one three minus the weight of the object, and the weight of the object is five. Be very careful when you solve this. A lot of kids make the mistake. Remember that you have to solve this thing first in terms of L. Yes, solve it. Solve five divided by one point in terms of minus two. Open the brackets. Do it in steps. Do it in steps. No need to rush. Please do it in steps. If you do it correctly, the value of L that you should get should be zero point one seven two meters. They ask you to calculate it in centimeters, so the answer would be. Seventeen point two centimeters. Now, uh, the common question that I get always in this question is that when you were substituting, sorry, when you were substituting um, the value of t, and you use this, why did you not take the extension to be fourteen point eight minus thirteen? Try to understand. When it was fourteen point eight minus thirteen, your object was simply hanging; it wasn't spinning. Now, when it starts to spin, the extension changes. That's why I cannot use fourteen point eight minus thirteen. I hope that makes sense. And um, best of luck with circular motion. And keep listening to the lectures. And keep spreading them. And keep sharing the love. Take care, guys. Have a great day. Thanks.